Do sales really matter? Are sales numbers truly important? Should a gamer even be concerned about the numbers? Should we just play the game and not even worry about the numbers? I've been hearing a lot lately on YouTube about what people think about the numbers and how they are of little importance and they're not relevant and how can grown men get on YouTube and argue over numbers? It's interesting that people say that. How adults could get on YouTube and discuss numbers as if there's some type of significance or importance to them. Hmm, let's think about that for a second. That, if anything, we should get on with our boring lives and get out and live a little more. As if discussing games and discussing the reality of numbers is some type of foreign concept. Hmm. The very notion that one shouldn't even consider the significance of numbers or to even underestimate the importance of the numbers is a foolish and a downright stupid thing to say. Why do I say this? It's simple. The companies that do not care about their numbers are the companies that are no longer in business. As simple as that. There's a graveyard full of console makers who are no longer in the video game business because of numbers. So if you are a gamer and you are one who enjoys playing games, then you should care if your console of choice is doing well or not. You can say all you want to, it has no significance on me, it doesn't affect my pocketbook, but guess what? The very game you so enjoy playing is the game that will no longer be around if those numbers aren't met. You don't believe me? Let's look at the world for a brief moment. Let's get you out of your small pond and expand your horizons for a brief moment in time if we could. Let's look at television. Do numbers matter in television? Hmm. How many shows have been canceled for low numbers? That's not a good example. All right. Let's look into the motion picture business. How many movies have flopped or therefore no sequel or in fact have just disappeared off the face of the earth because of Poor numbers. The better a movie performs, the more likely you are to see a sequel. It's just facts. I'm sorry, guys. Now, let's look at this for a moment. Who are the ones who are not concerned with the importance of numbers? Oh, I see. The kids. The ones who are staying at home with their mommies and their daddies and who at this point in life of, well, I'll just put it nicely. You haven't grown up yet. Frankly, the measure of anything in society in this day and age, unfortunately, whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, is unfortunately due to numbers. Whether it's a form of efficiency, production, the added value, the measurement of numbers... It's just something that the world will not do without. Don't kid yourself. Numbers do matter. And if you think that they don't matter, you probably just need to grow up a little bit. Why argue over numbers? Because there is value in arguing over numbers. There is a point. There is significant meaning. Why argue over these things when there's other things in life to argue about? Well, let me assure you, no matter what you may do in life, whatever you may enjoy, numbers count in those avenues as well. 
It's just my thoughts. And if you don't like it, too damn bad. And the reason why I say this is simple. If you've been a gamer since Generation 1, at some point you have experienced what I like to call the graveyard of consoles. As I said before, to invest your hard-earned money in a product, and that product becomes extinct because of poor sales. It is pretty much money down the drain. So, public awareness, venting, there's a number of reasons why sales are important to the average consumer. Frankly, you can't help but wonder with the internet and all the various means of multimedia if the flops that we witnessed in the past generations would those have even occurred at, at this point it's tough to say but in this day and age word of mouth on a diamond in a rough can make a big difference in overall sales of a game how many games back in the days were actually very good games that simply no one knew about them this is an avenue of expression an expression means informative information that is distributed to whoever is willing to listen the better a product sells the more likely we are to actually have a sense of value with the product that we own and I tell you when I first realized this I loved my Sega Saturn it was the first console that I thought that actually got things right. And keep in mind, not only was I a Sega fan, but I was a PlayStation fan too. I owned both consoles, so for me it made no difference to the fact that they were trying to compete. I loved titles that the one that each of them may not have necessarily owned. X-Men vs. Street Fighter, which I imported. Virtual On, Guardian Heroes, Dragon Force, Panzer Dragon. This was a time where there were excellent game titles on each system. However, one system did not survive the battle. And I learned then that if you are a gamer, sales really do matter, even though the content might be brilliant. Do sales really matter then? Let's review for just a second again. And, and frankly, I'm, I'm going to summarize this up really quickly before I end this. This is a prime example of a console cycle where there was, a, once again, excellent first-party titles from a platform. The Wii, even though you may have not have felt it had excellent titles, had first-party titles. The 360 had first-party titles. And, of course, Sony had some excellent first-party titles this year. However, the first-party titles across all three platforms did not sell equally. The PlayStation 3 exclusives did not sell as well as probably Sony would have liked. So, and I'm going to just say this again. If you're a gamer and you enjoy gaming, cut the crap whether or not you're a PS3, Nintendo, or even a uh, Microsoft Xbox fan. At this point, it's of little relevance you may have the console of choice, but you need to realize that each console needs to be successful for there to be a nice and stable equilibrium. I couldn't tell you for sure if there's going to be a repeat of what happened with the Sega Saturn where there was a console maker who actually made decent titles that's going to disappear in the next generation of eight. If you don't want to see that happen, I highly suggest that all of us as gamers start, and I shouldn't even have to say this, but I'm going to say it, start supporting the platforms we really truly enjoy. It doesn't benefit any of us if a console maker dies. That's just less content, less creativity that we will see. I am a fan of multiplats. However, the current model is leading in the direction where a console maker will soon be entering the graveyard. If all consoles are all multi-plats, there is nothing to separate. So that means 
one console at some point will gain the advantage and weed out the rest if there's nothing but multi-plats. Sales do matter. Let's accept it. Let's face the reality of it. And we need to honestly embrace it and, for once maybe, work together and keep the gaming industry as a whole alive.